Hello everyone, my name is Yu Tingxiao. My topic today is entitled with modular design of row symmetric authenticated key exchange protocols. This work is collaborated with Rui Zhang and Hui Ma. In our work, we focus on the specific type of AKE, means row symmetric AKE. In such AKE, two parties Alice and Bob they send their own messages without waiting the other side, and upon receiving the message from the other side, each party can conclude with a session key or bot. There is an adversary between them. It can control the communication channels, corrupt some party's long-term keys, review some real session keys, and reveal some secrets like session states and ephemeral keys. The secret goal includes correctness and session key indistinguishability. In the literature, many security models for AKE have been put forward. The first one is the BR model. It captures the first three attacks. After it, the second, second plus, and a second models were proposed to capture the fourth condition. There also exist models improving them to capture perfect forward security. Notice that the CK and CK plus models capture session state review queries while the ECK model captures ephemeral key reviews. They are different. To date, few work compares these models. The only one stated that the CK, CK plus, and ECK models are incomparable. In fact, the most reason for this is that these models allowed different uh, reviews and used machine notions in different ways. Thus, trivial cases raise when change the model from one to another. However, put uh, all models into the same setting. There is no need to insist some minor differences between these models. Thus, we may have a better understanding of these models. To date, many constructions have been proposed in different models, including including efficient concrete protocols like HMQV, Nexus, and some use for transforms. But there is almost no work considering security in multiple models simultaneously. In their works, a model is fixed first, whether their technique can be reused in another model or not. We have no clear answer before. In this research field, we lack a systematic understanding of the pre-requests for constructing secure AKEs. Both of the two questions motivate us. Our essential goal is to give better systematic understandings of AKEs, more specific in the raw symmetric setting. The most uh, important parts of our work are a succinct and comprehensible unification of the existing models and modular construction in the existing models. Next, I will introduce the two parts respectively. In the part one, I will give understanding of the system model and the security models. In the system, there exist n parties. Any two can communicate multiple times, and each interaction establishes a session key or bot. Take an execution instance between two parties PI and PJ as an example. We can give a generic description of row symmetric AKEs like in this picture. For the party PI, it will take its own secret key SKI and the public key of other party PKJ as input. First, it will sample the ephemeral key RI. Then it will compute MSG I and SI using the function F. Then it will send out the message MSG I. After receiving the message sent from PJ MSJ, it will compute uh, SJ and SIJ 
use a function f bar fc bar. Mm, this function can also be subdivided into f bar and fc to compute sj and sij respectively. Finally, it will derive the session key use the three key materials SI, SJ, and SIJ. There exist two types of important keys long term key like SI, SJ, SKI, SKJ, and ephemeral key like RI and RJ. Each protocol instance will yield two sessions. To identify a session, four variables are used as actor, as peer, as center, as receive to denote the owner, the intended peer, the message center, and the message received, respectively. For example, in such an instance, the session on PI is identified as PI PJ MSGI MSGJ, while the session on PJ is identified as PJ PI MSGJ and MSGI. Accordingly, two notions were also defined here for any two sessions S and SE bar. S and S prime. If their owners are the peers of each other and the messages they received are the messages sent by other, they are called matching sessions of each other. This notion is used to identify two sessions involved in the same protocol in execution instance. While for session S, if the message it received is sent by S prime, the S prime is called its origin session. Note that this notion is used to distinguish passive adversaries from active adversaries in a more strict manner. You can imagine that message replay attack is different from message modification attack in some cases. Here we'll also we also notice that. Matching session exists, imply origin session exists, but not vice versa. Before introducing the secret models, we also introduced several important secret notions. The first, perfect forward secrecy (PFS). It states that the compromise of long-term keys of both sides do not affect the secrecy of older session keys. The second is weak perfect forward secrecy (WPFS). It's a weak version of PFS. The set the adversary should be passive when generating the older session keys. The third is key compromise impersonation, KCI. In this attack, the adversary crafted the long-term key of some party PI and then try to authenticate itself as some other party PJ. The last is maximal exposure, max. In this attack, the adversary can get keys on both sides, but at most one on each side. Now we introduce the security models. The adversary may launch active attacks via send query on input session and message. It will respond as a proto description. The adversary can also learn some secrets via a crop query to learn a party's long term key, via ephemeral key review query to learn a session's ephemeral key, or via session state review query to learn a session's intermediates or via session key review query to learn a session's session key. Here, the output of session state review query will be specified later. Like other game-based definitions, the security is defined via experiments between the challenger and the adversary, where the adversary can adaptively make allowed queries and test on a target session it chooses. The real session key or 
a random session key will be returned. If the adversary correctly guesses the random coin the challenger used and the target session is kept fresh throughout the experiment, the adversary wins. In different models, different uh, queries are allowed. Of, queer, of course, to exclude uh, trivial success, freshness should be carefully defined. So many details cannot be included in this topic, but uh, they can be found in our paper. Here we should notice that in the CK and CK plus models, session state review query is allowed. But in the ACK model, only ephemeral key review is allowed. Next, we should clearly define the output of session state review to see their differences. Once again, we take one session as an example. Its lifetime can be viewed as the four steps. Some intermediates are passed from one to the next. Can these all be reviewed? In particular, in the last slot, all session key materials are included. Of course, in all models, session state review is forbade on the target session and its matching session to avoid trivial success, but that's all. For other sessions related to the target session, this query is allowed. Something went wrong. Here we give an example. Three Execution instances are given here. The adversary replies a message MJ star and MI star generated in the first to respectively activate new sessions on PI and PJ. There are four sessions and they can be identified as in this blue box. Assume the target session of the adversary is this session. According to the definition, its matching session is this one. And its session key is determined by three parts, three key materials, three key materials, SI star, SJ star, and SIJ star. Notice that in these two non-matching sessions, SJ star and SI star appeared. If the adversary query session state review query on them, and in addition to review the ephemeral key of the target session, it can get SI star and SJ star and compute as I just start by itself. Thus, it trivially succeeds. To avoid this, the session state review query is shut down in this slot. But uh, we should notice that the session state review still leaks more than ephemeral key review because besides RI, the ephemeral key, it also leaks SI. To make these models more succinct and comprehensible, we formulated them as in these models. In the models on the left, secret leakages are strictly limited on the target station and its matching station, while in the models on the right, that are limited on the target station and its origin station. Due to a special case, the origin station exists, but the matching station doesn't exist. The models with PFS surface deal with much more complex situations. We also notice that the each case in each model can be classified in the secret notions we mentioned before. Thus, with such formulations, to achieve security in these models, the key is to achieve all these security goals. 
Next, I will introduce the high-level idea of our modular constructions. Recall the generic description. Here, FC is used to nego negotiate a key material from both parties' ephemeral keys. Giving a secure implementation for it is enough to achieve weak PFS. Then we take f and f bar as a function pair. The paradigm of raw symmetry AKEs can be described as two, two times f f bar plus f c plus kdf. How to securely implement such function pair becomes our starting point. This motivates us to define a new function krf. It's a function pair. If the correct corresponding keys are used, f bar can recover w from x, y, and y, output by f. Two properties are required for it. The first one is private evaluation PE. Without EK, it cannot generate a pair of x1, y such that f bar, f bar's output are not, is not bought. The second is private recoverability PR, means without RK, it cannot recover W from x1, y, even EK or x2 has been leaked. According to different cases, this property is divided into PRLEK and PRLX. These three properties are important to achieve these security goals. Take, uh, take a case change protocol to implement uh, FC. We can get a construction like this. For PI, it will generate a key pair PKI and SKI. Then it and then it will take PKI as X1. Arandonis RI as X2 to compute YI, WI. PKI and YI will be sent out. Upon receiving PKJ and YJ, it first recover WJ and uh, compute K from SKI and PKJ. Finally, it will derive the session key from WI, WJ, and K. For PJ, it uh, executes in a similar way. If the case change protocol is passively secure, assuming KRF with different properties yield AKAs in different models, as in this table. The simplified proof strategies of our modular construction can be abstracted as in this table. And the the detail the detail of proof the detail of proofs uh, will not be introduced in this topic, but they can be found in our paper. Then I, then I will introduce two enhanced versions. In the first one, the key, the key point is that the output Y can be used as a public key PK. If so, the basic construction can be improved like this. Here, PI doesn't generate generate and send PKI anymore, and PJ doesn't generate and send, send PKJ anymore. Thus, the computation and uh, communication over overheads on both sides decreased. In the, in the second version, a public, a public PK can be used as the output Y and the computation of W is allowed to be delayed until some X1 is specified. 
By so, the basic construction can be improved like this. Here in the phase one, the uh, uh, there is no need to compute WI. Well, its computation is delayed into the second phase, and uh, the X1 and the S S1 is set as PKJ it received. Note, note that um, this enhanced construction um, requires some different um, requires some different KLF and it must cannot be P secure because anyone can anyone include including the adversary can compute a public key. Apart from these uh, modular constructions, we, go, we also get some other results. First, we use, we use these modular constructions to explain some existing protocols in the CK, CK Plus, ECK, and ECK PFS models. Then, according to our results, Security in the ECK PFS model implies security in the CK plus PFS models. Thus, we can get some new construction in the CK plus PFS model. And last, we also give a new construction according to our results, which is more efficient than directly applying a compiler on a protocol secure in the CK model. That's all about our results. Thank you for your listening.